Frost is a threshold signature scheme. You have maybe like 10 participants and now like any five of them or any eight of them or, you know, whatever, whatever uh, parameters you want. Uh, if you have a quorum of them, they are able to kind of interactively fill in the gaps for the missing participants and they're able to produce a single signature. So now just like with music, you have one key, one signature, but now this signature represents a quorum of people. So you have this quorum kind of policy. And what's cool is you can nest these, um, or at least we've been working very hard to make these nestable. So the individual keys in a frost can themselves be frosted. And so you can have kind of these arbitrarily complicated um, policies, signing policies, that are all represented by a single key. And to produce a signature with a single key, everybody needs to do this interactive protocol in the background. But all of the complexity here is kind of offloaded to the signer themselves. And so the blockchain doesn't care about the complexity. So the blockchain just sees one key, one signature, and they can't tell if it's a normal single key wallet. They can't tell whether it's a, a two of two lightning channel. They can't tell if it's a two of three escrow. They can't tell if it's some like more complicated thing is the idea behind Frost. But as you might imagine, the complexities of, of this interactive protocol are even worse for Frost than for Musig, right? In Musig, you kind of worry about all this kind of misbehavior. In Frost, you can imagine that you need seven of 10 signers, but then you have an eighth signer shows up and just starts griefing things. And you still want the protocol to work, right? You want to make sure that, that even if you can't necessarily tell who's misbehaving, somehow you eventually figure it out and you're able to get, like as long as you have seven honest parties, you can somehow weed out all the dishonest ones and then produce a valid signature. And that's a lot of the work that we've been doing uh, over the last year, three, four years, um, has been defining a protocol that's resilient to all these different failure modes.